So hey guys, welcome back in Guru Bangalavati and the last part of our third person shooting series because this is the last part what uh, I'm going to learn then next video I'll give you the whole project link so I already created a simple map however in this video I'll show you that uh, what I add new that the new linear feature that linear line track by channel fire so let me show you first of all let's pick some ammo and let's take use a cam okay and I also fix some bugs like as you can see the M4 A4 glitch that there's a camera problem I fixed that so now I also add some recall settings as you can see the new line track by channel and also the recall settings okay so let's let me show you that what I did so first of all at my new in my right mouse click I add that if first of all verify that I am using gun and also verify the ACM that if the both are true then it will be fill up this condition I mean if it is true that I have a cam and I using a gun so my camera offset will be real uh, the active location will be minus 40 and the Z is 14 and if it's uh, it's not true that if I'm not using a cam it's been that I'm using some guns but I'm using m4a4 so it will be execute this thing okay so I said for that one I said that minus 14 and this is 70 okay because I see the AK uh, the M4 is some bigger than the a cam that's why I need to make the camera some up so it's 17 okay that is a simple thing and for the shooting the line track by channel uh, let me show you that it's in left mouse okay so it's in here that now after then execute the da uh, data that here I add that camera the aim camera and get the world location get the rotation and then from the return value I get the forward venture and then I just multiply with float that uh, 15 th uh, 1500 then connect it with this then f with this I add the plus vector so it will be plus this uh, world location with the this thing then that is the end location I just search that line track by channel uh, sorry like yeah line track by channel there's also option that line track by multi channel don't use that one use the line track by channel then the started point is the default that get world location and the end point that is so at the visibility of line track channel if you want you can give visibility or camera and also that the draw debugging type if you want you can set none so it will be become hide and if you want to see the line track so you can set by duration okay so from that i get that on heat get the impact point and just i just spawn a simple the particle system okay and then automatically destroy that thing because i want to destroy that thing also and then from this thing I sequence and the spawn the bullet okay basically that is the code okay that is the main code that what I write for the line track by channel okay so that is uh, what I did and here's the thing that it's fixed the problem is also fixed and I also add some more uh, you know some I add some randomly guns and themes in a randomly position yeah I also created randomly themes that which give me a random item always always okay as you can see this time it gave me a cam and a m4 let's check that let's check the second time what is give as you can see it's give me now a m4 a4 and give some ammo so hide how I do this that simply create a actor and that is the random BP so at the random BP I just add a simple the arrow okay so then get uh, event that even begin play then spawn actor and then I create a random class and from the random I just make a area 5 mo AKM BP and M4 then I connect it with my arrow just get the world location and just spawn it and then after then I destroy my arrow because all my components because I don't need this thing anymore after the spawning okay so that is the code what I did now let's create a simple ragdoll so it will be give us our character to fight some with someone so let's do this thing so first of all let's create on um, characters and we'll be give it that rag 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 to ragdoll then open this thing and at the ragdoll I will be select the mesh of my skeleton body that's the U for manicures set it to minus 90 
and the offset will be 90 uh, minus 90 yep so one is done um, you can if you and you can select uh, the your default class animation uh, if you want uh, in my case I'll I can give you the simple idle load animation so animation asset let's search that ideally idle and there's a lots of idle uh, I need a simple idle that just a simple idle so maybe I have already that that in my maybe in my TTP uh, there's a somewhere the animation should be like maybe in this way yep maybe there is a animation available should be available uh, why is the animation ah let me check in here that mm, I need a basically a idle animation but for now I don't have any as you can see that idle dot animation so for unfortunately let's say the uh, idle that the rifle idle mm, I think that is not good idle you guys I think that you should be use a better uh, animation so I think that is good so at here with this skeleton body we can he is using the same skeleton mesh so we can simply give him a gun so he can stay with this gun so just go FPP then mesh and the rifle just add the AKM and with the AKM I select the gun so it will become at here now simple compile so I think that is good more okay so we'll be select our this thing select by mesh and just go here that character that will be set it to ragdoll so now it's a ragdoll component so when we hit this thing it will be it will be tie so also for verifying that will be search that box collision that the box collision so when we hit with this thing it will be become die then just go to even we can play that event you can give that even overlapped or even hit i giving that even begin overlap that cast to player uh, bullet okay there's a bullet maybe you uh, there's a player bullet a bully player bully what is player bully let me check <laughs> I'm setting the right one or not uh, where is the ammo yeah that is the player bully <laughs> now it should be bullet let's fix this thing uh, where is this so sometimes there's a spelling mistake so you can fix this your own self no problem okay so now it's fixed so let's come in rectal oh maybe we select some wrong thing so let's search that again cast to player um b u double l e t okay that is the right one so then other sector then we can make a variable for him that a basically a health system for him so integer that we can call this thing that health let's give it that e a l t h health so we'll be give it him to over 100 and then every after with this thing that minus okay that subtract and we'll be set this thing but for before do this thing he'll be verify that uh, how much ammo it is or what is the correctly and if it's true so if it's false so we are still get hit and damage but if it's zero so then it will be two ones that basically it will be only do once time that get the mash set simulation um as i am a simulation by physical so now I think this will be work. Let's drag drop our the ragdoll. Here is this thing. Let's click on apply. Now play. Let's pick some ammo for him. And now let's try to shoot him. Uh I don't know guys why he didn't die. It should be die. 
uh, I think there's some maybe my code has something wrong let's give it like that oh I didn't minus anything oh guys shit I should be minus first of all this thing I forget to add the minus so then it, it can be minus let's try it now and oh come on it's okay and guys I don't think so that it's worked it's work let's give something more that his correctly health should be uh, 20 only so he should be die fast let's check maybe I think there's uh, some problem in my code maybe maybe the bullet collision is not working goodly uh, it didn't work so let's give like that I always be confused it's always in the zero value oh why it's not working uh, I think there's a some maybe problem maybe so <laughs> let's give that one hit with die let's check if it's not work also so it's mean that there is a problem in our basically the collision of our bullet I guess I probably noticed that there's a maybe problem let's check this thing that dynamic okay it should be work let's give it that heat that if it's hit it should be simulation the physicality yep okay now the hit was done maybe now it will be work let's try by even begin overlap or let's try the collision of like that what we create as you can see this system is not working why why you are not working is greater than equals zero come on man you should be work yep now it's working as you can see it's done now it's working perfect so now we can give it that hundred or something like his health system so he'll be now dry more goodly how we want like from a basically a human yes he's dry yeah he's dry okay but there's a problem in his collision okay that his capsule is still alive like his capsule is working so after than that we can disable his capsule that set c o l l use collision enable to non contamination also we set our bus collisions to non contamination because we don't want to test that thing anymore that's why okay However, uh, I think that is good. And uh, let's check out these collisions. That it is customized. Ignore pawns. Why it's ignoring the pawns? Block all. Let's give this thing that block all. I think guys after then giving the block all it's now not working <laughs> uh, 
uh, I think it's not working guys <laughs> uh, maybe that is like yeah I think now it will be work let's check so sometime it can be like that or I think my yep it's working good that is quite enough good and I think guys that is all for today's work and then I just set up something more and then I give you the whole project okay so just wait and watch this video just wait for next video and thank you so much for watching this love you all and bye bye